So now we're going to get start getting into some of the, the Chinese variants. Um, there's actually going to be three full sets on the, the high and low Chinese. Starting with problem number three, the uh, starting with the high Chinese here. So after black place here, what should white do? There are a lot, there are a lot of things that white can do. Uh, white can play here as, you know, just like a big kind of checking extension against blacks here. Black can make an extension here and white can make a sonra and say. It's not a good idea typically for white just to invade here and here without any sort of preparatory moves. This is a good response to black's high Chinese. Another good thing that white can do is simply approach here. Uh, black will play high, of course, and then black can play the star point here. This is also a good start for white. So continuing from this starting formation, problem number seven asks, what should black do now that this exchange has been made? Black should take the star point here. This is a five space extension from this. This is also threatening to start building a giant moyo. If black gets jealous of white's formation over here and decides to split, then white will take the big extension and now black is limited to basically just the right side, whereas white has top, bottom, whatever else you can get here. It's 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 far too flat for what black could have gotten. Um, also, if black decides to approach instead, White will probably play this move again as a pincer. You really can't say that this is a bad way for black to play, but black really has three options here, and he can play any one of them and still probably have a good game going, but any hopes of building this giant moyo on the right side here is pretty much lost when white plays here. Black is going to be stuck with this flat formation here, and then we'll have to eke out some points on the side here and then eventually invade up here to limit white's potential. So continuing from this, um, if if white goes all out and says, oh no, I gotta do something about it, and then invades, this is a really bad move for white. Uh, how should black respond to white invading here? Well, if, if white invades low, black should kick it. And extending up makes it really, really heavy. And then black will play the, the small knight here making some nice points, fourth line points. And now white is going to struggle to try and make these live. If after white does this, black plays the uh, diagonal here, this is really lukewarm. Uh, white will just slide in here and then make some shape and actually live over here quite comfortably. It's a black loss all initiative at, at that point. Some other things that white may do um, to deal with this large extension of blacks here is to make this checking extension. How should black respond to this extension? Black should expand his moyo. I mean, he's, he's already got this, might as well. Um, and after black plays here, in order to prevent the invasion, white may back off. And the black can kick this move and then fix his shape. But making a giant moyo is is the spirit of this high Chinese here. And so now, uh, from, from this stone, he's got a big giant sector line over here and he's looking to build all of this. And with this stone, uh, this stone is also hampering white's ability to make anything big over here. Whereas if after white makes this, black makes some sort of high enclosure or even uh, this sort of move, white will make a sonra and say. And now if black caps here, white has other responses instead of just backing off low here. So for problem number 63, what should black do when white makes a sonra and say? And don't say Tengen. Tengen is not right. Tengen is always wrong. Black should approach. White will probably back off high here, and then black will make the diagonal here, or maybe even the one space high enclosure. If black goes all out crazy and says, I gotta break up this moil by invading here, then white's just gonna kick it. Notice that this point is already on the optimal extension here. Um, after black stands, white will extend up, and again, now white's getting all this fourth line stuff. Black can only make a one space extension here, on the uh, on the fourth line to get out, but then white is going to play this diagonal here to prevent any sort of hope for black making a base and living locally. And so now that black is going to have to run out here, white can uh, you know make some points here and then potentially cap or do some stuff over here to build up this entire left side. 